used to call me on my cell phone Day night when you need my love One, twenty-one guns Music has always played a big role in America One through a party in the county jail The prison band was there they began to wait Our taste can range from the Beach Boys to One Direction. We could be the greatest thing that the world has ever seen. You and me got a whole lot of history. I am a lost boy from Neverland. Joe, he's so mad, but he won't give up. But, to tell you about one certain female, I'm gonna have to take you all the way back to the 70s. Life on Mars. legend herself Diana Ross yeah. Diana Ross is one of the most successful solo female artists of all time Diana Ross has also broken down many color barriers in her time as a solo artist she has inspired many female artists such as Donna Summer Last chance for love. and Tina Turner I think Diana Ross is one of the most talented women of the century. Diana Ross is by far one of the most influential, powerful, and most inspiring black women we've ever seen in America. But like every other artist, Diana had to be built up from her roots back in her earlier life. Diana Erstein Earl Ross was born on March 26, 1994, in Detroit, Michigan. The second of six children of African American parents, Erstein Lillian, a school teacher, and Fred Earl Ross, who served in the Army. In the late 40s and early 50s, Diana started singing in the gospel choir of a Baptist church. With friends Mary Wilson, Florence Ballard, and Barbara Martin, she formed a vocal group, the Primettes, at age 15. After Barbara had left the group, the other three girls landed a deal with Motown Records and were named the Supremes. From 1965 to 1969, the group had a string of number one records. Supremes shot to superstardom with 12 number one hits in just five years. In late 1969, Gordy announced that Ross would be leaving the group for a solo career. In the third week of 1970, she played her last concert with the Supremes and started working with the songwriting team of Nick Ashford and Valerie Simpson. Ross's first two songs by the team reached number one on both the pop and R&B church, justifying her moves. After starting a family of her own, Ross won the title of Billie Holiday in the 1972 film, Lady Sings the Blues. Good morning, Holiday. Her performance earned herself an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Diana's other two movies, Mahogany and The Wiz, did not meet the same success. However, she had a number one signal with Mahogany to make up for it. Not only is Diana an amazing actress and singer, she is also an amazing mother. According to her children, Tracy Ellis Ross, who stars on Blackish, Evan Ross, who has made an amazing appearance in Mockingjay Part 2, Rhonda Ross, Chundi Ross, and Ross Name. Our mom is a mom before she's anything else, and so I think that created a sense of normalcy for us. And I think for me, the biggest thing that I've noticed um, as I've gotten older is the legacy that my mom leaves and that people know from her career doesn't really hold a candle to who she is as a mother and as a person. Furthermore, Diana Ross is still impacting the world to this day with inspiring other artists in the soul, pop, and R&B categories, handing off the Dick Clark Award of Excellence to Taylor Swift and is still winning awards as of 2014. No artist will compare to the elegance, talent, and beauty she possesses as an artist, 
actress, and mother. Diana Ross has definitely left her mark in American soil. <laughs>